Hey everybody, and welcome back to the second channel um, where videos are just bad. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm here at Reverb. You can see they're a YouTube channel as well as, I mean, mostly a store. It's like eBay for musicians and they're letting me film here. So thanks to them, I got more info about that in the description. I wanted to talk a little bit about the balalaika that I got uh, yesterday <laughs> from a company called uh, Ruspec or Ruspec. I don't, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, to be totally honest. Um, it's the week before NAM, and <laughs> everyone who uh, has anything to do with instruments is just flying by the seat of their pants right now. But I ended up getting this yesterday, and I uh, just kind of wanted to talk about how I went about writing this tune. Because what's interesting about this instrument is it, there are two strings that are nylon, and they're both tuned to the same note. So that was a little bit new to me. You know, I've used 12 strings before in mandolins where you do have two strings that are tuned to the same pitch, but they're usually played as one and um, not spaced apart like this, like on a ukulele. So that was a bit new, and there's two nylon strings and then one steel string, which, you know, adds to its unique sound. I've never used an instrument um, that does a mix of steel and nylon strings. So, so I got this, it's tuned E, E, A. I decided to do most of the lead work on the steel string um, I'm not quite sure if that's like the traditional way to play it, but uh, that's what seemed most natural to me. And I used a scale that I used in a lot of metal songs actually, to the point where it's, you know, <laughs> almost kind of a cliche. But, uh, but I ended up building things around that, and the relationship between these two strings, you know, similar to the bottom two on a regular six string guitar, you know, you got E and A. But then with the two E's, you're able to do like a power chord, which would be around here, which is a very different shape that I'm used to for a power chord. Or another thing that I thought was really interesting about having two strings of the same pitch is that you can really easily get to uh, the interval, which I think is probably <laughs> the simultaneously the most disgusting and most beautiful, depending on how you use it. And that's just using uh, you know a note and then the sharp of that note at the same time. Or, Two notes that are a half step apart. And so I use that in the song. All right, and uh, well, here, yeah. Gotten a little bit out of tune since we recorded. Right there. So the song is, as well as a whole lot of mine, relies on thirds. And uh, there's some pretty cool shapes you can do with two strings of the same pitch being right next to each other. So I built things around just getting that lead in there. And then kind of experimenting with using thirds on this different instrument. And it's a lot of, um, it's kind of a, I watched a few tutorials on this particular instrument and they had uh, names for, particular names for strumming. I'm pretty sure they were um, probably just what strumming would be in Russian, but. Uh, so I was using some techniques that I've picked up from just classical guitar to really accent um, those, uh, those triplets and uh, put some color into the lead notes that I was doing. some uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs there to kind of color it up here and there. It's really all based around that same rhythm, but adding a few things to make it a little bit more interesting. And uh, yeah, I threw that together <laughs> last night as I'm trying to get as many videos done um, before NAMP starts. So yeah, that's at least my first impression of the balalaika. I think it's pretty rad. So yeah, thanks to Reverb for letting me shoot here. Uh, thanks to you for watching this garbage on the second channel. Ugh! Ooh! Thanks. Have a good one. Do you want to say something? What's up? Do you want to say something in the video? No. No? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Yeah, because this is just the second channel. This stuff is like purposely bad. <laughs>